So when sitting down with both generations to talk about proactive land transfers, the big thing I really focus on is the five Ds, which I mentioned in a previous video with Patty. And it really just takes time to slow down and explain where each generation's coming from and their concern and perspective. I think they're important because they're easy to remember. Five Ds get the conversation going and that's why we're gonna dig into them more here today. Why is there such anxiety and need for control? And five Ds, that really comes into play here. So the first is divorce. It's not rocket science. We have to talk about it with the rate that it is today. Uh, secondly, we have disposition. It's just a fancy word for sell it. So land is transferred to the second generation at less than fair market value. There's a concern they could turn around and flip it one day. Third is debt. If sold below fair market value, that second generation can go into any financial institution and borrow against it. Fourth is death. Child dies first, now what? We don't talk about this enough in transition and succession planning. We always talk about what happens when the senior generation passes, how do we write that will, etc. But we really, as an industry, need to look at what happens when the child dies first and what does that look like. Uh, the big one there, just talking about it, we transfer land to the second generation, the farming child passes away, and now that new in-law or spouse now owns that family land. The 50, I say, okay, those are the concerns from the senior generation, but what about from my generation, the farming kid that's came home? My 50 is dementia, disease, disability. What happens, mom and dad, when you are not cognitively you? I can't wait for that uh, promise in the will. I need to have clarity on that today. And I also push back, going back to the first D, from the second generation's perspective, what if mom and dad get divorced? That will break the business a lot faster than my new marriage. So because this is a difficult conversation, talk about it between generations. You can always use this video as a starting point, but I also recommend with some families, if it feels like it's too hard to broach, utilize that uh, third party that can bring a neutral uh, place to the conversation.